Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're expecting a Hero Pack SBC on EAFC 24 Ultimate Team. And guys, this is not just the Max 87 Hero Pack. This is a brand new one that would include all of the base hero cards in this game. It's going to have a lot of hype. I think we need to invest and also watch out for a lot of market movements that could be happening today. We're going to cover all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content really fast as we always do. We had a player SBC that was expected. That flash back Giroud SBC was dropped. What a dynamic image for him. What a stat upgrade. And I think my favorite part about this card is the fact that he has the playstyle plus of Power Shot, which I think is kind of underrated and not many cards have it. But this is a really good opportunity to try out a brand new playstyle plus if you have not tried it out. The Power Shot with this is so fast and so effective. It's pretty fun to use. And also, not to mention, Giroud is 6'4 with 99 heading accuracy and still has the Power Header and Aerial Trade. This is a fun card card 100% and it's cheap guys 83 and 84 rated squads which right now is more expensive than it should be because informs still kind of carry a bit of a higher price 75,000 coins basically for this Giroud but if you can get yourself some untradeable informs uh, of course you can even make it cheaper than that because it does require two informs inside of the 83 and the 84 rated squads think about it this way Lautaro Martinez was such a hyped player of the month he has the exact same requirements. I think I would rather have this card over the player of the month, Lautaro Martinez. Just saying. But four-star, four-star, most likely Giroud. He, yeah, he's going to be a bit of a truck, right? A lot of people are putting a Hunter chem style on him, which keeps him as mostly lengthy. Some people may be going for the full lengthy on a Marksman, if you want to go with that option there as well, if you still care about those accelerate types a lot. But let's, let's be honest. This is a fun SBC. It's a great cheap SBC. That's what it is. It's a fun card to try out with different play styles and just a different play like ability in game than a lot of other strikers that people go for. And since it is checking all those boxes, a lot of strikers are down, especially on that middle to low tier. Lacazette went from 47,000 coins yesterday to 36k, 35,000 coins right now. Angel Correa, one of the most popular strikers in the game with the new Centurions promo going from 116k down to 96,000 coins. Strikers are down bad because of this SBC. This is a fun one, and it's out for a week, so you have a little bit of time to craft it. Uh, yet again, guys, another SBC that requires the 83 and 84 rated cards. We're going to talk about investing in those a little bit in today's video as well. Also yesterday, we had SBCs that people have been asking for for ages, just an opportunity to consistently and repeatedly grind packs, grind upgrade packs in this game, the League SBCs. Now, these are not as good as the old League SBCs back in the day. They were the best, but a combination of tradable and untradable packs inside of two four-set SBCs separately, the Mixed Leagues Upgrade and the Premium Mixed Leagues Upgrade, right? It's kind of separated by, like, top leagues, including Sudamera. Kana and Libertadores, and then also the Mixed Leagues upgrade, which has some of your other leagues, the lower level leagues. Uh, guys, these SBCs are solid. These are solid because it gives you something to put your random cards in from the club. If you don't want to just put them into some other sort of upgrade SBC, you can put them into this and get players back. It's just a way to repeatedly grind packs, and that is something that is nice. People have been wanting something to grind at any point to get packs, to try to get fodder. And here it is. The packs aren't that amazing, but it's not that expensive to do. 34,000 coins for the premium mixed upgrade and 12K for the mixed league upgrade. It's not bad. It's something for those that want to grind on this game. But it's also creating some pretty good price movements on the market. I believe that all gold center attacking mids um, are currently over 1,000 coins. Let me double check this really quick. French, gold French center attacking mids, I should say. Uh, yeah, these are 1,200 instantly. Like, boom, Sovereignty right there for 700. I think they were even higher yesterday. But what this does is it creates opportunities for cards from those different leagues. The, the cams might be up because of the triple threat challenge as well. I think they might actually be up because of that. But some players from specific league and nations will now sell for just a little bit more because of these league SBCs for sure. So make sure you check your club. And check those solutions on Footbin because that'll give you an opportunity to find some of those cards that are up in price. So yesterday's content was pretty quiet, let's be honest, but the Giroud and the League SBCs 
were at least nice to have something. Now, also yesterday, there was progress that was able to be made. If you watched, like I turned on the Twitch stream yesterday and I watched the event, the FC Pro event that was going on yesterday. Uh, of course, guys, you can check this out. Um, day two is today. EA has tweeted out a link. You can get some stuff and some packs inside of here. So that is, again, going to be something that we will be able to get involved with today on this game as well and get some of those packs. I know a lot of you guys were asking about it in yesterday's video. And uh, yeah, so that's in progress and that is happening right now on this game. Let's get to the big news at hand, right? The hero pack. Guys, is it guaranteed to come today at hero pack? Technically, no, but it just seems based off of EA's kind of structure this year and the trend that they've been following with their own content that we would be getting this SBC today. These two packs were added to the code last week and we're in the middle of a promo that is putting new heroes into the game. The hype is around the heroes and guess what? Last week we had the icon upgrade. EA's been on this trend of hero upgrade, then icon then hero, then icon. I think it continues today, guys, with the base hero player pack, which is not a pack that we've seen yet this year. Now, the question is, why is there hype for this? Well, this would include heroes that were not packable in that max 87 upgrade, like Rudy Voller, Carlos Tevez being 88 rated, Paulo Futre, Francesco Li, brand new hero card, right, that just dropped in the game in the last couple of weeks. You've got a Betty Pele, Ginola, Okocha, uh, Wesley Schneider are all going to be packable from this pack. You would include Lucio in this one as well. Lisa Razu, Company. Those guys were not packable in that previous hero pack because it was capped at 87 rated. This one, if it drops today, which I'm very muchly expecting that it will. I mean, it could be the icon pack today as well. Let's, let, let's say it this way. One of these two is coming out today, but it just seems like it's going to be the hero. So that's going to be a pack with a lot of hype today. And I actually want to take you back. You're like, Nate. Was this SBC really expensive last year when it came out? Because you're adding in some really top tier cards like Ginola, like Abedi Pele, like Futre, Valder being four or 500,000 coins, Di Natale, 1.2 mil, Tevez, right? How expensive was this SBC last year? It was only 100,000 coins, right? And also, you notice that the Max 87 upgrade this year has been around 70 to 80K like it was last year. So if EA is just doing the same thing they did last year, Today, this SBC might not that be that expensive, and it could be a really fun SBC to try out, and a lot of people are going to do it kind of regardless. Unless they make this SBC like 200k plus, a lot of people are going to go ahead and do it, guys. Now, currently, um, or actually last year, this SBC was an 84 and an 85 rated squad, which actually was 100,000 coins or just over that, which would compare pretty much one-to-one -one with where prices are right now in this game. But one thing last year that I want to show you guys about this SBC that was different is that they used the minimum overall requirements. This was a thing they did a lot last year in FIFA 23 in the early to middle stages of the game is that they would require a certain number of players from a certain rating. 86s, I mean, you have three 86s required in the 85 squad, and then you have two 86s and one inform required in the 84 squad. 86s went crazy when this SBC was released. Now, is EA going to do that same thing today for this pack this time around? I'm not expecting that because they haven't not they have not been doing much of that this year, like doing the specific rating requirements. So I'm not telling you right now that you have to go and buy 86s because they're gonna go to the freaking moon. I'm not expecting that. What I am expecting is an SBC that's probably gonna be around a hundred thousand coins, maybe 150k. Maybe they make it a little more expensive this year. It kind of depends on if they require an inform or not, guys. Because again, informs right now on this market, I still think. Are about 20,000 coins. Maybe they're dipping under that a little bit. Informs have started to drop a bit, but they're still kind of expensive. So, with that being said, I hope that EA does not require an inform today because that would allow these to continue dropping on the market so that we can do those other SBCs like Giroud for a bit cheaper since those informs would be dropping. But if we're going to invest today, guys, I think it's got to be on the lower tier. Think about it a 100,000 coin, 150,000 coin. Hero SBC at its max price today, it's probably going to be 84, 85 rated squad. The only way they can make it be a little bit of higher rated fodder movement is if they just made it a single squad of an 87 rated or maybe even an 86 rated squad. I think an 87 rated squad right now costs you like 150K. An 86 rated squad would cost you like around like 90, I think, or maybe 100. Yeah, it would cost you over 100K, I think, 
for that. But um, like that's the only way I can see it being like 86s, 87s, and even 88s moving today, guys. I think we need to focus on the lower tier. I like 85s. I kind of like them a lot, actually, uh, because think about other SBCs that we maybe have coming later on this week as well. We've got more of those party bag type SBCs with that Road to the Knockout 84 plus that came out last week. There could be another 84 plus Road to the Knockouts plus Trailblazers pack that was in the code. That could be dropping this week as well. 82s were at their lowest, or sorry, 85s were at their lowest yesterday at about 7.5K. They're starting to rise up a little bit. A lot of people are investing in 83s, 84s, and 85s, but that is the place that I would be investing right now in this game anyway. Think about all the SBCs that we have, the most popular ones that are out right now. For today's market rise, especially if we're getting a hero pack like that, I think it would be the 83s to the 86s that would have the best chance of moving the most. But again, think about it. Like we just had the Tiago Silva. That's kind of lower rated SBC. You know, we just had the Giroud, the upgrade packs that we're probably going to be getting as well. Again, lower rated, 84, 85 rated squad. That 83 to 86 range is what people are going to be buying for this SBC. So prices that I like. 84s under three and a half. I, I like 3.2 or three better, but these cards are just starting to rise a little bit because people are investing in them and they're thinking along the same lines as we are. DePaul and a lot of the 84s yesterday were about three and a half K. You could have picked them up on bid for like a little bit lower than that. Honestly, 3.5 K for 84s is just fine considering that last week, how much were these guys? They were like five and a half K last week. I think on what was it Tuesday? 5.6k for some of these 84 rates last week on Tuesday. I'm not expecting them to go all the way to 6k again this week, but even if they just go to 5,000 coins sometime before Wednesday, that's a really good investment. So this investment on the lower tier of fodder, especially today, we, we will have squad that are rewards since it's an early Sunday morning time frame. You'll have a little bit of rewards that will hit the market. Um, I, I'm going to get rewards today. Not a lot. I don't have very many points, but I know a lot of people have been playing Evos. That's going to bring a bit of supply to the market. So you can probably get on some bids for a few of these 83, 84, and 85 rated cards. For the 85s, like I mentioned, I really like 7.5K. I know some of them are starting to go up in price, like 7.7, 7.8. I could see these guys with the right SBC being above 9,000 coins. If they require an 85 rated squad um, inside of this hero pack being a little more expensive than the 87 hero pack from last couple of weeks, I do think that the 85s and even the 86s could go up a little bit. So that's my investment opportunity for today. I think that fodder, guys, even if you're not just investing for the hero, I think that fodder is going to be a very good place on the market again this next week, just like it was last week. Um, it's going to be the best place to make coins, to be completely honest, just because that's where people are spending coins. And a lot of people are still hesitant to buy cards for teams, but when it comes to fodder and SBCs, People are not hesitant at all. So I would invest there and hope for a rise today, but you wouldn't have to sell today because those prices on fodder could keep rising into Tuesday and to Wednesday. Now, for the heroes, right, that are going to be in this pack today, hero prices, along with the rest of the market, are down pretty bad. Specifically for some of these heroes that are above 87 rated that have not been into one of these hero upgrade SBCs yet. That Tevez price at 367 was must have been an undercut, by the way, because he is not that low. But keep a close eye on some of these heroes today, like the Tevez, uh, the Francescoli that we're looking at right now. I would also say Rudy Voller. Some of these higher rated, tougher to pack hero cards could have a really nice bounce after the SBC drops. And people say, okay, I know the SBC was in the code. I was waiting for, drop, for it to drop. It did. I was not able to pack the hero that I was hoping to see, and prices rose. Watch the high tier of heroes today. There could be a bit of a bounce back. But for the rest of the market, Guys, what happens when they drop big packs like this, right? We see prices on the meta market drop almost every single time just because people have to go and sell cards to do the SBC, right? Think about somebody who has Griezmann in their team. They're like, I want to take a chance at packing Tevez. So they sell Griezmann. I think this even happened last Sunday. Can we take a look at the graph? Last Sunday, when we had the Icon pack again for the second time, Griezmann went from 74,000 coins down to 56K. We're going to have some drop off some gold cards in the meta market again today. If you want to trade or maybe even buy somebody for your team, or maybe it's somebody from the Triple Threat promo that you want to buy out and try, Sunday today should be a really good day to do that. Sundays are normally days where we see a very low point on the market, and then we see a nice rise 
into Monday after the weekend league rewards are given out. So I would keep a close eye on the meta market for triple threats for gold cards, probably as high of rated as a gold card that you can get uh, the better just because like a lot of these cards just continue to drop and it's absolutely bananas. Uh, how much these cards drop. The out-of-packs cards are definitely safer. Think about Centurions. Think about Road to the Knockouts. Think about the Trailblazers team as well. These are the cards that are the safest to play with because they're out-of-packs. If those drop a lot today, that could be a very, very good place on the market as we could see some prices recovering into Monday morning. Even though it seems like a lot of people are not buying cards right now, last week there was movements on Monday. They weren't insane, but they were good enough. And uh, I think there's going to be movements again this Monday as well. So watch the market very closely. Oh, Hyunmin Sun, 650. That is very low for him. He was like 700 on Friday, I believe. Yeah, 713. What did he do yesterday? He went to 650, went back to 720. All right, we might have to take a look at this Hyunmin Sun card. This is a perfect example of a card that is very rare. It's, it's going to drop further as we head into Black Friday and get closer to that time frame. But, like, look how, how rare this guy is, man. 656 right there. Like... If I can get a 640 on that card, like I would, I would buy that no hesitation because he's probably going to at least be 700,000 coins at some point today on Sunday just because he's rare, he's meta, he's popular. So that's kind of what I would watch for on the market today. It's going to be a really good opportunity to make coins in the next day. Now, what, else, what other content are we going to see today? Well, we, we have this promo team of, of Triple Threat, right? And we have a lot of great promo cards that are out right now, and they're getting cheap. They're getting very cheap, but will we see a mini release today? That's one of the questions that I have. I think it'd be very easy for them since they kind of have this like the three player link up, right? You've got one player that's an, a hero. You got one player from the men's team and one from the women's team. It'd be very easy for EA today to drop a mini release in of three more cards, one of each of those three types and call it a mini release and then boom, it's good to go. So I don't know if we're going to see that today. I think have a hunch that we could i don't think there's any leaked cards though or maybe there are and i'm just i'm forgetting some of them uh but i'm i'm really curious to see if we get a mini release today or not now apart from that hero pack a potential mini release we do have an evolution to talk about today this was leaked last week and we got the triple threat right back wing back i think it's called but we have not got the triple threat attacker evolution just yet and we're looking forward to that be dropping on the game today as well potentially right triple threat attacker it's going to be a paid evo overall max 84 pace 83 the shooting is actually 86 dribbling 84 defense max 65 and physical max 85 Honestly, guys, this is going to have to be a really big boost of an Evo for it to be worth the 50,000 coins and actually putting in a pretty low rated striker to begin with. Um, you know, like Isak is a popular one that people have been eyeing for the potential of an upgrade in this evolution, but it's going to be power shot plus, or I think just power shot technical and press proven for the play styles, which could be pretty good as well. But like, honestly, spending 50k on Evo in one of these cards, what's going to end up being better? Doing that or going and doing the Giroud SBC who's like 75,000 coins, you can probably get it done for cheaper. And he's going to have a play style plus and the links. You know, that's just something you're going to have to decide for yourself and watch and see what you think. And um, it's going to depend on how many games, of course, it is for some of those Evos as well now we're watching out for that content today and then maybe a player sbc sundays usually bring us player species as a part of the new promos i know i just looked at a center back to potentially buy that kalulu right now but mario hermoso is adding to the list of all the insane center backs that we have had recently we've had tiago silva we had ledley king and now mario hermoso he's got to be a cheaper sbc 100 percent but this could be a player sbc that we see today the only card that i would be interested in watching because of this would maybe be carvajal maybe carvajal uh like 62k he's actually down a little bit right now that's that's a madrid linking card la liga right back slide tackle play style plus keep an eye on him today if that sbc drops he might actually have a bigger rise on monday if the hermoso today looks pretty good we also have a four lawn that is leaked as an sbc i don't think i'm Keen on this dropping today. This seems to be too big of an SBC, in my opinion, to drop for EA to drop on a Sunday. This feels more like an SBC that would drop next Friday if there's going to be a Team 2 of this promo. So that's one thing that I'm kind of eyeing today as well. I think it's going to be Hermoso, guys, but it also could be for Lime. And the other thing I have to mention is EA 
has not done anything yet about untradeable packs in the store. They have not brought them back yet as I'm trying to bid on a couple cards while on the video right now. I do have an Ake that I want to quick sell really quick so I can go to the store. It's just an 81 rated card. No big problem. But um, I do believe there are no untradeable packs here in the store still. They haven't brought these back yet. Oh, just kidding. They did. Okay. Did EA tweet about this though? The 333,000 coin pack is now here. And uh, so is a the 133,000 coin pack. They have not tweeted about it yet. Again, I'm, I literally just refreshed their Twitter. There is no response to this tweet. Uh, they said updates will be provided in this thread as they become available. I don't know, guys, if they're going to do any sort of compensation or anything like that. But it does look like here in the menus that the little the little button thingy or the little arrow here is fixed. The little insignia of it being tradable versus untradable. If there's compensation for any of those packs, if they're going to give out like tradable or untradable packs today because of that store mishap over the weekend that does worry me for the market i think there will be a lot of supply that would end up hitting but as of right now we do not know and maybe i'm recording this video in the middle of them putting those packs back out i didn't remember seeing those earlier today but maybe i just missed it so keep a close eye on the eafc direct twitter just in case or x technically just in case they are going to do something today that would be pretty crazy. All right, picked up a Kalulu for 136. Missed out on that Grealish. I'm going to try to pick up this Hyunmin Sun card for 640 if I can find one uh, because that's a really low price, and I think he's going to end up being like 690 or 700 again today, and we'll be able to make a quick flip out of that. I've been making some decent coins with the triple threat players. I bought some Morientes yesterday. I had to clear my transfer list, but I bought like three or four of him at 170, sold them for 187. I bought a Leal for 940. Um, uh, these Carva Halls where I was losing like one or two K a card, a failed flip there. Not a big deal. Kalulu, I made 10 K on and then just lazy listing 83s and 82s still working guys still working. And then I have picked up some 85s. I paid 7.4 K because I do believe in some fodder rising this week. So that's kind of the state of the account right now. I was just up to about 2.5 million coins. So that's where we are. Almost liquid is 2.5 to 2.6 for those that care about that. And we're going to continue to make some coins today. And hopefully, we have a nice hero pack SBC today. I've got fodder in my club. I'm ready. Okay, EA, I've been saving some fodder for this today. Drop a good hero pack. It's going to be a fun time on FC24 today. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. And see you guys today in a stream. Peace out.